Are you recording my Buford Highway? Chamblay! What are you doing? I'm singing Chamblay! Actually, there's a good Chinese restaurant over there. <laughs> there's actually a nice Chinese restaurant over there. I visited there 35 years ago. Um, when you were 30? <laughs> I visited there a while back and they had very good um, sweet and sour pork. I don't want the sweet and sour pork. I know you I don't want, want you dim sum. Fine. You get your dim sum and I will get my sweet and sour pork. Meow. <laughs> what are we looking for right now? We're looking for the Chinese restaurant that I went yes. to. Two years ago when I was 18, my friends we were visiting college for, for campus tours. I want the spicy garlic eggplant. It's a spicy garlic eggplant. Yes, I really like the eggplant. This is the shrimp dumpling and this is the chicken feet. Do you want chicken feet? And this is like, I don't know how, how to translate it. It's a good thing they keep those chickens in a cage because if they don't have it, they got no feet to get around with. This is like with pork. Chicken feet. Do you want chicken feet? Chicken feet tastes super good. Just like, try it. You, it has bones, so you just eat the skin of the chicken feet. Try it. You peel off the bones and just eat the skin. What about the toenail? We don't eat the toenail. Really, I feel like they cook this better than mom. There's nothing to eat on this thing. You have this to eat this. The skin? Yes, to eat the skin. And this is the shrimp. Is there a way to eat it without everything falling out of your mouth? No. Are this sugar cane shrimp and shrimp bowl, shrimp and taro, and poku skin rapto shrimp and shrimp toast? Which one out, baby? And red bean sesame bowl. Did you say coconut shrimp? Ah, uh, yeah, shrimp bowl, shrimp inside. Ah, uh, yes, please. Okay, sure. A little bit, please. A little bit, sure. Oh, sure, the, sure. oh the shrimp. Shrimp bowl. So at this place they have a cart and it has a lot of food on the tray and you can pick up the food out of the tray. They have lots of food. So I guess this is sort of a Cantonese version of tapas. What's tapas? Well it's a small plate. So you just order small amounts of food. This is this is all pork. The sesame bowl is dessert. Is it? Well, that one's yours because you put your hands on it. Okay. The other two are mine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so explain to him what you ordered here. This, this is, is the spice eggplant and with pepper and sesame bowl. Yeah, it's a spicy eggplant. It's so heavy. So heavy. It's spice garlic eggplant. I really like eggplant. Do you like the the chicken feet? Sweet, I'm sure I would like the chicken feet, but I can't figure out a way to eat it without picking it up with my hands. Okay, I, I, will, I will help you. Mm -hmm. Yum. 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 Chicken feet skin. Yes. Mm. The chicken feet, they, they cook good. These chopsticks are very large. Mm -hmm. They're very large. This is the normal size. They seem larger than normal size. No, 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 they seem very normal. thick. Sweetie. Mm. Okay. Sweetie, the only issue is when you've got little bits of cartilage and bone dribbling out of your mouth. I, I, I forgot. What's the name for this? This is the shrimp bone. Shrimp bone. <laughs> <laughs> so, sweetie. Dim sum just means steam stuff, a little 
little things. So, Cantonese food. Not just the Cantonese food, they also have other food. When you eat ch chicken feet, you put the chicken feet in the mouth and you take the bone out. Nothing wrong with this. It's the chicken feet. All people here eat this way. Look, look over there. Explain this to me. So, how do people eat chicken feet when you go to the fancy restaurant? They eat it like a snack. People take it and they eat it like, like at office. Um, I mean, the lunch place at the office. Okay, so I've got a question because there's always that one jerk at the office that wants to bring in fish or something and warm it up in the microwave. So what you're saying is people will go out and get chicken feet, bring it back to the office in China, and they'll sit there and eat chicken feet at the office. And is that guy I mean, equivalent to the, to the to the dude at the American offices that wants to warm up his leftover fish? I mean the office is the, it's the lunch area lunch area you have to eat the chicken feet this way if you don't put the chicken feet in the mouth how you how you pick up the bones the bones is you just put it in, the, in your mouth and pick up the bones i really like this eggplant it's very flavorful do you think it's very flavorful it's very eggplanty there's a lot of eggplant on this plate but what i like is i like the the green peppers that they've got, and they've also got some tomatoes, and, uh, seaweed, or fungus. Uh, it's Chinese fungus. It's a kind of mushroom. Yes, it's a fungus, but yes. it's a mushroom. Your mom always cooks that. Fungus? Your mom always cooks fungus? No, no, the, this, the, the black thing. <laughs> you see, that's. You gotta be careful where the food's going when you're spitting it. In the United States, who would recommend that drinking water too frequently while you eat your food is considered rude? Using the wrong fork could be considered rude. Um, I, I There's think all sorts no. of rules like that. What I'm doing right now, putting my elbow on the table, is considered rude. I'm not putting my elbow on the table. I know, I was. I think mom would like this place. You don't like the chicken feet? Sweetie, I'm not in the mood to grind up chicken bones in my mouth and spit them out of my mouth. It makes me uncomfortable to do it, so I don't. I'm laughing because I'm remembering the first time I took a guy to dinner. I was on a trip. We were a chicken. It was in Asia. And the chicken, the way they cooked the chicken was they took the big square knife and they just hacked the chicken up into chunks. Then they fried the chicken. And it has bones inside. And there was there were bones. Yes, it's very normal. So what he started to do was he would just pick up the chicken and he would shove it in his mouth. When he would and chew pick it, out the bones. And he was picking out the bones and then not only was he picking out the bones, but he was breaking the bones open. And sucking. Oh yes, yes, I, I sucking, did that. Sucking the marrow. I and did so that. He's like, chew, 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 and we go. Yes, it has, it has the. I don't know what it's called in English. It has marrow. Fats the bone, and it's good for your bone. Okay. And when we were done, he had pile of gnawed up bones on his plate <laughs> and I remember thinking to myself wow maybe I should order him some more food because he's obviously very very hungry to eat his food because sometimes when you chew the bone it tastes good do you want the last the no nope. I will sacrifice the last chicken foot for you you can have it because I love you I love you more than any kind of chicken foot in the world if, if there was the last chicken foot on the planet, there was no more chicken feet, I would give it to you. You try this. This has no bones. Did that come out of your mouth? No. Put it right there on the corner of the plate. It come out from here. It has no. I think I'm getting full. Will I take this? How could you possibly be full? Half of the food that you've eaten has gone into that pile on your plate. <laughs> Yeah, yes, I had all the 
chicken feet. So what next? After after dinner, where we go? Do you, do you want to go to the bars? This is the sesame man. Share. Hold on a minute. And the, the inside is. Show them. Show them the ball. The inside is red bean. Yes. The ball. This is the ball. Sesame ball. Inside is the red bean. <laughs> we share. We share one. What is the fortune cookie? You will be fortunate in everything you put your fist in. You will be fortunate in everything you put your hands on. Oh yes, this is mine. It says small art in your life at this time will help you feel better. Small what? Small art. More art? Do you think it suits me more art? Okay. Because I'm planning to make lots of new stuff. It must be true. Yeah, it's so true. How did they know? It's just a suit me. Is that a Buddha now? Who puts them in here? You look super cute today. 